Welcome to the third section of the course. In the previous section, we learned to create new pages and to navigate between them. So far, our application is a bit bare, so in this section, we will start adding flesh to our pages using some basic Ionic components. We will first add a list of items to the search view, though the data will be fake. That will also allow us to introduce data bindings. Then we will add a search bar to the top and introduce binding to events. And finally, in a new page called Settings, we will use a radio box component. Let's dive into our list first. Open search.js and you'll see that in the code I've added an array of items which we will use as results of our search. These are actually items taken from searching for the keyword John on the iTunes search API, which we will use later. As you can see, each item has a kind, which can be song or feature movie, as well as an artist name, track name, and a few thumbnail images. So let's open search.html, and we're going to create an iron list tag. And within that list, we're going to create items, so iron item. The items need to be repeated over the list of results, so we're going to use the Angular directive ng4. The way ng4 works in Angular 2 is as follows, asterisk ng4 equals hash result of results. So what does that mean? Well, the asterisk is just a shortcut to avoid having to wrap what we are repeating inside a template tag. And so unless you dive much deeper into Angular, just remember to have it there on ng4 directives. More interesting is the hash result, which means that we are creating a local variable called result each time we go through an item of the results array. We can use that result object to display the corresponding data. Let's start by adding a thumbnail on the left. So we'll add an iron thumbnail with an image and the source attribute of the image will need to be bound to the artwork URL 100 property of the result. How do we do this? Well, simply use square brackets around the source attribute and the value equals result.artworkurl100. So this is the first form of data binding. We can bind straight to elements attributes by using square brackets around them. Note that this is only one-way data binding. We are reading the source from the result object. After the thumbnail, let's have the name of the track or movie in a h2 tag. And to bind the content to the name of the track on the result, we can use the double curly brackets result.trackName. Note that we can also instead bind to the inner text attribute of the h2 element. So h2 square brackets inner text equals result.trackName. Let's keep that one and let's use the curly brackets instead in the next line, which will display the artist's name. Okay, so that's already looking like a very nice list. Let's add an icon on the right hand side and we'll change what it looks like depending on the kind of result, song or movie. So we add an icon tag and the attribute which decides which icon is going to be displayed is called name. So square brackets name equals and here we can put an expression, namely if the kind of result, so result.kind is equal to song then we'll use musical notes and otherwise we'll use film. As a last touch, let's add another icon to get more information about the artist, which should only be shown if the result is a song. So icon and this time the name is person. So how do we show or hide the element? Well, we'll do that by binding to its hidden attribute. So square brackets hidden equals and we'll hide if result.kind is not equal to song. And here we have our finalized list of results, which looks pretty nice. So in this video, we introduced a fair few concepts of both Ionic components and Angular bindings. The components for Ionic, Ion List, Ion Item, Ion Thumbnails, all allow us to create a very nice looking list of results, while the Angular directive ng4 allows to render a repeated list of items. It is important that you quickly become comfortable with the bindings we saw, so here's a summary. We can use double curly brackets to display a value, and we can use the square brackets to bind to an element's attribute. 
It doesn't matter whether they are HTML attributes such as the source of the image or Ionic specific like the icon name. 